behold the strength of Hook, a Lion King barbarian from the Sand of Varos. This character was created and commissioned by Lionel, and started somewhat of a trend for the following works we did together. More on that in the future. But yeah, this painting went very smoothly. I hope you enjoy, and if you do, leave a like. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Olá, olá, tudo bom? In today's video, we will be talking about painting styles and that sort of thing. I want to start off by saying that whenever I start writing, it ends up with something like me venting out about my tormented mind and how it looks nothing like a proper script for a video. So as I type words away in this tiny keyboard of mine for the fourth time now, I'll try and make sure to stick to the theme that I want to talk about. Again, my style of painting, or rather, how I came up with this way of painting and how this video might help you find your way into making something that you feel like you really wanted to do but had issues figuring out a way to actually do and... Uh, but this video is for you <laughs> who's in this journey of figuring out your style. Or in the middle of the crisis, because you hate what you do or something, I don't know. But let's go win this together! Of course, I can only talk about where I came from, right? There's no right or wrong way to do things, but I'm gonna share my, my little experience on the matter. So, I'm gonna go back in time a little bit and I'm gonna skip the part where I had my doubts when changing from inks and brushes to a computer and a tablet, so we can move to when I was like, okay, but what the fuck do I do now? Not to tell the whole story of my life, but I had the chance to start working in a studio as a colorist. It was there where I got most of the very first basics of what it was like to work with digital art. By that I mean that I learned mainly the software and a little bit of theory and the main steps on making art, basically. like from sketch to going to well, somewhat of a line art maybe and then coloring and then putting out together for a presentation or something so that's where i came from in a way and outside of working i would spend a lot a lot of time figuring out the fundamentals uh, that's a huge part of getting closer to making the art you want to do so i was constantly studying and trying out new things here and there going with what I thought made sense at the time, as one would, right? Uh, by the way, by fundamentals, I mean the basic stuff that is universally used independent of your style, that being basics of anatomy, color, perspective, and things along those lines. And there was a lot of things, processes, and ways to go about making paintings that left me in sort of a state of paralysis, have you heard of Paralysis by Analysis? From the Wikipedia page on it. Quote, analysis Paralysis or Paralysis by Analysis describes an individual or group process when overanalyzing and overthinking a situation can cause forward motion or decision making to become paralyzed, meaning that no solution or course of action is decided within a natural time frame. End quote basically means having too many options and being unable to take the first step in any directions available. 
Especially nowadays, when we can see all sorts of style, different approaches everywhere we look, it's very easy to get overwhelmed and lost. I struggled to find my way of doing things, but you know what I realized along the way? I did not come up with the basics of what I wanted to do only because of things I liked, but rather because of things I did not like. That was the beginning of it all, I think. Although I came from traditional art, making clear lines and contours, I hated doing that digitally. I did, it did not feel right to me. It took way too long, it looked dull when I was doing it and it consumed a lot of time. So part of what I do nowadays come from not liking the clear art I was doing, for example, you know? So I had to find a solution to this, for it was still part of my process and how I enjoyed doing things. Does that make sense to you? It was like finding things I did not particularly like to doing and trying to fix them. I really think that having an idea of what you do not like or do not want to do is far more important than knowing exactly what you want to do at first. So you do not limit your choices, you filter the options? Uh, nah, that's not the best way to put it. Okay, okay, let's let's try again. Oh, I hate how I lack the proper words to explain what I want to. Say you are out there doing your thing, but you feel a need to change something in your art because you may not like the end result. Where do you go from there? Well, what I did was I tried to find what I did not like in my process. Like I would try to pinpoint where I felt like I got lost and I would try to explore a better way to fix this issue. And that was eventually what guided me to find my favorite artists and my inspirations. There's not a right or wrong way of doing things that was my experience and how I eventually found my way into a process that I enjoyed. You notice that I keep talking about process and way of doing things in a specific manner. That's because I believe having a process is as important as having the fundamentals, you know. Having each step for you to follow is very helpful, so being able to pinpoint exactly where you have having issues it's very helpful in the sense that you can go back to this specific part and not necessarily change your whole approach to making art. So you'll go fixing issue by issue in a very comfortable way. Well, I hope this was somewhat helpful at least. Yeah. Go after the artist you like the most, spend some time trying to figure out what they do, you know, just have fun in this process, in this exploration. And again, be open to learn new things. This time of exploration is surely one of the best things an artist can do. So have fun while you're at it, you know, there's a lot to learn out there. Now, as I say goodbye to you, I want to wish you an amazing rest of your day. I want to remind you to drink some water, please. Stay hydrated, alright? And I'll see you later. Thank you for commissioning me, thank you for watching my videos, thank you for being alongside this strange adventure, even though I'm not at the top of my game right now. Thank you. Thank you for my patrons as well. Love you. Have a good one. Ciao, ciao.